What is going on everyone? I got a face cam. Let's give it a shot, see how it goes. I absolutely hate it, but it's something that I want to get used to, so we're doing it. Ashes of Creation's February livestream is looking to be shaping up to be something great, as we now have confirmation from Steven on two possible reveals for this stream. And no, it seems like my former prediction of the bard being showcased isn't going to happen unless it's something that happens at the same time as one of these other reveals, which is very possible. Steven took to Discord the other day when someone asked for leaks and he stated that I figured we might do an in-depth on the UI changes or maybe a walkthrough of the tower of Carfin. Haven't decided yet. We saw in January some big UI changes for the game, giving us a mini-map, a quest log, inventory, and a looting system, which are all pretty cool, and if Steven does go in-depth on this, then we may get to see some cool teases and sneak peeks, such as things like various quests, talent trees, the character screen, and hopefully showing how these can all be customized as Intrepid has stated many times that while they have a stance on no add-ons, they want players to have the freedom to change up the UI to fit their own custom playstyle. A walkthrough of the Tower of Carfin, on the other hand though would be huge. We have seen no Ashes of Creation dungeon gameplay since Alpha 1, and seeing how Intrepid plans to bring it all together would be a great showcase and something that may be needed to help rebuild some of the hype after the last several months of streams. For those of you who don't know, the Tower of Carfin is this multi-floored tower that was a focus of mages in studies in the old Aelin Empire. And when the apocalypse had begun, a mage by the name of Loria Lament used blood magic in a desperate attempt to save the city of Ayla from destruction, which resulted in a curse over the land and turning the residents of Carfin into the undead. And although we have not seen inside the dungeon yet, we do know that Steven took some inspiration from two lineage two dungeons the Tower of Insolence and Kruma Tower. I personally was never into Lineage 2, so I have no idea what these dungeons were, but for- th Oh, my hand's disappearing. Weird. Guess I need a green screen. But for those of you who did play, you may see some similarities when we head into Carfin. If Steven decides to go this route, as I've said before, I really hope that he brings a full party of eight into it so we can actually see how it plays out and how challenging it can actually feel instead of using GM cheats to clear our way through. I imagine we won't see the tower in its entirety as the dungeons in Ashes of Creation are massive, having multiple paths to head through, and in the case of Carfin, multiple floors to traverse as well. And after the tank showcase, I am hopeful that we will see a well thought out and informative display of the Tower of Carfin and not just an undermanned party running through with no coordination and not taking time to showcase the bosses. If Carfin is ready to go, then I also hope we see some challenging mechanics and not just a hack and slash fest as well. As of up to this point, none of the combat and boss fights they've shown have been really engaging or unique. They've just kind of had you stand in one spot, cast your abilities with minor raid mechanics, and kill it and move on. With the UI, and Carfin on the potential agenda, you can expect the Cyclops world boss to be shown in March's livestream. This is something that Steven has been teasing since December, stating that we would see more of it in the next two to three months, which is where we are now, and if it's not the focus of February, I would be willing to bet it is the focus of March. We also learned that with the upcoming class reveals, those looking to see the Rogue anytime soon may have to wait a bit longer. And although there are four archetypes left to be shown, we don't know what particular order they will be shown in, but we do know now know that the mages will be showcased before the rogue, which tells me that the mages are much further along in Alpha 2 development, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see the mage before the bard or summoner as well. It'd be pretty fitting to see a mage head through the Tower of Carfin, as this was a place where mages gathered. But if Steven decides to go the four-man route through Carfin, I don't think we will be seeing any new class archetypes in the showcase, but if he goes the full eight-man, perhaps he'll hide a new one in there to show off some gameplay in the background, but not be on full display through the dungeon. Would you guys rather see an in-depth UI showcase or the Tower of Carfin this month? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.